All right, I got an idea for how to support this rabbit, and part of it has to do with trimming off part of the base for this rabbit. I do love this saw. one side of the rabbit, but I'll fix that. I'll be back in a few minutes. Time to play with some clay. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. If I can get this closer to the tail, I could even have some of the hair from the tail touching the rabbit about mid chest or thorax on the other side. That would be hidden, yet would make sense and would hold the rabbit up in bronze. But I gotta work on it a little bit more. I've got to trim off a little more of this clay And try to get this to work. I think that looks good. Anyway, I'll be working on that today and uh, we'll see how far I can get. Get, as they'd say in Texas. Get. Yeah, I did damage the clay a little bit on this side, but that's okay. It'll, uh, it's repairable. I may have to trim off some of that wood right there. This ain't too easy because this is on a swivel and it wants to move. I've got to figure out how to stop that from, from moving. I can't recommend more highly getting a Japanese type wood saw. It's just it gets you in places you can't get in once you've done it. Uh, in the past, if I had a corner to take off, I wouldn't be able to do it. But now I can, and it's a very simple. And this is another thing I can highly recommend. It's a duster. And uh, you can buy the can duster, but after a while the can duster uh, wears out or runs out of uh, pressure and you have to buy a new can. This you just recharge. And it's great. Well, there goes my reference. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway. Ah. Got dust all over the place. Or sawdust. All right, let's see how that rabbit works out now and how close I can get it to the uh, tail. It's still not really close, but uh, it's closer and it gives me something to play with. And I've got to probably redo that tail anyway. All right, I've got the uh, rabbit back in the uh, hobby vise. And that's what this is, is a a vice that hobbyists can use to put uh, objects in that they have to work on more detail in. And uh, it, it gives me the ability to put this at any angle that I want and work on it. I put some kind of clay that hardens onto the uh, mouth of the... Uh, vice so I would have a, just a little more grip and uh, it works out well all right I'm gonna put this uh, aside some of the stuff and uh, get busy on this rabbit I swear I bet I 
spend a third of my time in my studio just prepping so I can work. been having trouble with my camera today. I dropped the camera and that caused the memory card to pop a little bit and because of that I couldn't record. Now I can but I just want to let you know I'm trying to give you the best view of what I'm doing Right now I'm working on the front of the mouth of the upper lip of this rabbit, this jackrabbit. Now this ain't the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's up there. Especially what compounds the difficulty is that I've never done a rabbit or a jackrabbit before. On top of that, I've got a bit of a headache. And this ain't helping it. I spend a third of my time prepping, like I said before, and another third picking stuff up that falls on the floor. It's a never-ending conundrum of sculpting. You tend to be a little clumsy. Or dropsy. <sighs> this headache is getting the best of me today. joint right there. Alright, I gotta add clay to the uh, base so I can do his feet or his foot that will be hitting the ground here. I'll be back in a few minutes when I get that fleshed in. All right, time to do the foot. All 
Now it has four toes. I got to cover that wire armature. His tail keeps falling off. <laughs> Have to reattach that. All right, I like the uh, positioning of the uh, jackrabbit. I think that's going to be a good position for it. Uh, I'll finish this rabbit up next week. And uh, I'll take the tail apart and redo the tail. Uh, and so I can connect it to the other side of the rabbit on this side. So that he doesn't look like he's being supported by the tail, but yet he will be. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Um, next week, I'm going to have to go to the foundry. And I'm thinking I might like to take this over to the foundry and get a bid on this as well. I'm going to be getting a bid on uh, my uh, Great Plains Warrior and uh, see what it would cost to cast that and this at the same time. All right, everybody. Good night. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.